Hello, welcome back. And today I want to show you how we can create a guy must tower in particular structures and also how we can pile the, the stacks or uh, uh, the components of guy must. I had done this already in Tecla structures and remember, I'll redo this in Comosys on the next presentation. Now, if you take a look closer here, you can see we have a template here, a template for the guy must already done. And uh, I'll, I'll also do this in, com in Comosys so that you get used to the tools also that can do this in Comosys. But now let me just show you how we can uh, erect or install this in, te in Tecla structures. So I've already done this because I didn't want to waste so much time in creating this. But remember, I'll take you step by step in the, on the next presentation on different software apart from Tecla structures. The, the, you also have a test of a different uh, tool. Now, if you, take, if you take a closer look here, you can see we have a template. And now we just, just let's go straight and start placement or start installation of this. So I'll pick on this particular segment of our guy must tower and I'll just right click and uh, come to copy here and just target the bot at the bottom end here and snap on that spot and target the same same spot uh, on the on the template here and just snap on that spot so the one the one that stop on us i snap on that i'll right click click interrupt just to get out of that command then right click once again or just click on empty screen right click and come to redraw just to refresh everything so, so that those cutting planes to disappear. So you can see, I have my balls in place, but the balls kind of are clashing, but to, let's make them work much better so, so that they get clamped or get fastened with this plate. So how do I do that? I'll, I'll select on the bolt, right click and come to bolt parts. So I want the bolts to pass through to this template. So I'll just pick the parts I want to bolt together, then right click. So you can see the bolt has, has clamped both or has fastened or has uh, attached all, all the parts. So I'll right click once again here and, and come to bolt parts and pick that part, select that part, select that part and, and press or mute button on the mouse. So as I'll do the same here. I'll right click and I'll come to bolts and select on the bolts, pick the parts I want to bolt together, then uh, select my middle button on the mouse. So let's take a look at the bottom end here. You can see we have our bolts already uh, uh, passed through the, uh, uh, the parts. So let me just go ahead and finish that so that the, the others, I think you can try by yourself. I'll select the parts I want to bolt together. I'll pick on that and that has been done. I'll do the same here also, right click on bolts parts. I'll pick the parts I want to bolt together like that and press my middle button. So if I come here and rotate this, you'll be able to see I have my bolts already in place and uh, well placed. You can see that. So the next thing I'm going to do, the rest I'll leave it. I'll do it some other time because we really uh, we, we are really key on time. We don't want to waste so much time. So we want to uh, apply this. Uh, I mean. Uh, six times. So we have, we have already placed this. Our target is to our target is uh, 102 meters high. So let me just uh, select on this once again. And once I've placed, I uh, select on that. I'll come here and pick it once again on, on the same same spot just to enhance the accuracy. Make sure you snap on that spot and zoom out and target the top end here. So just mouse over here, you'll, you'll see we are, smarting, we are snap, snapping at the midpoint of this particular pipe and we'll give it a click on that spot. So we have that in place. So the moment, the next thing we are going to copy it once again. Let me just go ahead, right click and come to copy and zoom out and pick on that spot right there and zoom out once again and target the top end here and just mouse over there and uh, we are snapping right at the center of that uh, of that member. So you can see a clean mesh between the flanges. Now we'll go ahead again and target the top end here. Remember we are placing six of them on the, on the first face. And if I click on that spot, I'll be able to place another one on top right there. So uh, I think we are still close, but we've not reached six, uh, six of them. And I click on that. And if I right click and click on interrupt and click on empty screen, uh, left click 
uh, I mean, uh, left click on empty screen, right click and come to redraw. If I redraw that, I'll be able to see I have these in place. So if I come to navigate and I try to rotate this like this, you can be able to see I have these in place. So the next thing I, ha I want to know, how many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. We need one. So I'll come here and select this one once again and, and right click and come to copy and pick on copy and zoom out closer and snap at the bottom end here. Make sure you are you accurate so that you don't create any clashing connection here. So let me just zoom close and I want to snap right at the center right there. So I have that in place. Uh, don't bother about the balls. The, the balls will be, will be rectified later on. So we have that in place. So I'll left click on the empty screen then right click and come to redraw right there so i remove any cutting planes in place so remember we can see our our, our stair uh, i mean our ladder also in place so let me just go ahead and pick uh and pick uh a, di a, a different uh stack or a, a different component so let me pick on this because i'm targeting this side this section here because uh, the wire rope will be tied here just to hold will be tied here all the way to the the foundation uh, anchor uh, anchor anchor rope foundation so that will be tied there another one will be tied there and let me just turn this around so that you have a look at that you can see that's a wire rope uh, part or section and, and, and the, another one on the other side. So at 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 at, um, at 36 meters high, we'll have uh, a rope coming on the other end, coming this side and that side. So let me just bring this in here. Let me just select on that and right click and come to special copy here and pick on copy and zoom out. So the moment I zoom out, I'll be able to pick on that and, and uh, target me on the far end here and place it right on top here. Let me just zoom close and snap it right on top right right there so let's give it some time to copy that then i right click once again and uh, left click and right click once again to redraw everything so i have that in place now we are going to the next so we are, we are going to populate this once again six of them uh prior to reaching to one or two uh meters height high so let me just right click here and pick on copy pick on copy and I'll pick on the center right here. Let me just zoom closer right there and snap on that spot. Then zoom out and target this far end here. And I'll snap. Just mouse over and make sure you snap accurately at the center right there. So we have that in place. And we zoom out and target the far end. So we'll count that as one because we need six of them. And uh, snap on that. Then we can give it allowance expand because we are past our working area. That's two, and we are going to to the third one, and we'll expand. And we're going to the fourth one here. Let me just zoom out closer, and uh, there's a fourth one right there. And we're going to a fifth one. Let me, let me just zoom close so that we play, we we clear this off. And we're going to the sixth one. So let me just zoom close and snap on top right there. We're the sixth one. And I'll click expand the working area. So I'll come back at the end here and we'll put this one here so that we'll, we'll at that at that level we'll be able to uh, tire up or, or uh, create some support right there. So I'll right click once again and pick on copy. And I'll just come at the bottom end here and pick on this. I'll, uh, I mean, snap on that spot and zoom out and move all the way up here. And I'll snap right on the top here. Let me just zoom close. So I'll snap on the to on top right there. So I'll click expand. So the moment I click expand, now we are closer to 102 meter high. So I need this one. I need this one. We need two of these once again. Right click and come to special copy and pick. Co uh, I mean, pick copy. Then I'll come. I'll snap right at the bottom at the bottom end there and target the far end here. 
So let me just zoom close so that I snap right at the center here. Let me snap on that spot and give some time and expand my working area like that and come here and place another one here. And we are close to 102. So let me just make sure you snap accurately on that spot. So there we are and I'll click OK. So we have two on top. So I'll pick the last one here. I'll pick this one. I'll pick on this and uh, right click and come to special um, come to copy and i'll pick the very last one where we'll, we'll be able to install our instrument on top right there so pick on that spot and uh, come here and we'll come here and place this one right here on top here so let me just zoom close and place it right on top there i'll click expand so we want to click expand and come right click on empty screen right click once again and click redraw and I have everything in place. So you can see we have our tower in place. So if I turn it around like this, you'll be able to see we have everything fixed in place. So this is a, a 102, a 102 meters high tower or guy, guy must tower. So you can see we have also the ladder in place. You can see that. So the next thing I'm, I'm going to do on the next presentation, I'll, I'll show you how we can add more bolts or tie or, or, or fasten all these joints here. So let's meet then on the next presentation and uh, I'm, happy, I'm happy you'll try this. So uh, don't worry about starting this from scratch. I'll be able to start this on a different software or with time I'll, I'll be doing this also in Tecla structures, but it will be uh, on off with uh, on off with the Commosis and Tecla structures. So I'll show this on the next presentation in Commosis. So because also Commosis have very important tools that can create this very fast. So you can see in the bottom end here we have the the, uh, the template. So this template will be able to hold or maintain the position of the guy must guy must uh, uh, legs in position. So let's meet on the next presentation. Morris Dimba, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And uh, nice to meet you once again. And we'll be dealing with so with so many topics regarding must tower and transition tower and telecommunication tower. We'll be sharing that every time and then when you create. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, this is Boris Dimba, and let's meet then, bye bye.